another wonderful day. But what's that Timothy is doing? Uh, Timothy? What are you up to? Oh, so you're packing. Why are you doing that? Oh, you're going somewhere on a plane? Where is Timothy going? Timothy is going to Japan? Oh, good day, sir! Uh, Timothy, how long do you plan on being in Japan? Two years? Two months? Oh, two weeks! Oh, well, Timothy, I think you might have a problem there. It looks like you could use some help packing. Well, Timothy, let's not waste time and let's get to it. Before we get started, we need to talk about luggage. Most airlines for international travel will allow two checked bags at 50 pounds, plus a carry-on and a personal item. Do you know what those are, Timothy? A carry-on would be something like a backpack, or any baggage that you can easily fit into the overhead storage. Try to make sure that yours isn't too big. Absolutely not. Now that's what I'm talking about. And as for a personal item, it's something like a laptop, briefcase, or purse. Excellent! Now when it comes to checked luggage, you may think bigger is always better. However, when you go to Japan, you're going to be doing a lot of walking, both in the streets and up and down stairs in the subway. And if you switch hotels more than once, you'll need to take your luggage onto trains with lots of other people. Do you know what that means, Timothy? It means you'll want to pack lightly and have luggage with wheels that's easy to carry. Uh, Maybe not that lightly. Let's clean this up and go over what you'll want to bring. So, Timothy, what do you think is the first thing we should start packing? No, no, no. I'm sure you'll miss him, but it'll only be two weeks. No, the first thing you should pack is clothing that fits the season, and Japan's weather can be a bit unpredictable. So, if you're traveling when it's warm, remember to bring at least one set of clothes for warmer weather, and vice versa for when it's cold. Next, you'll need a pair of shoes. Oh, Timothy, Timothy, Timothy. Those won't do. Remember, you'll be walking a lot in Japan, so you'll need some comfortable active footwear. Next, you'll need all your basic toiletries. Uh, sure. Next, you'll want to make sure you pack a few photocopies of your passport in different parts of your luggage, and a copy of all of your other paperwork as well. Now, Timothy, I'd place that folder with all of your other papers into your carry-on, so that it can be close by the whole time. You never know when you'll need it. Now that you have all your paperwork packed, make sure you pack your Japanese currency. You'll want to separate this out in your luggage as well to make sure that if you lose anything, you'll still have more money to work with. You also may want to save more money for your trip. Next, you'll want to pack a power adapter and a power strip. Most Japanese outlets don't have a grounding prong, and so you'll only have the two slits. And speaking of those electronics, make sure you bring an additional camera that's not your phone. Your phone will work fine, but You'll be using it an awful lot for Google Maps, Google Translate, and communicating with your group. Don't forget the SD card! Another item you'll want to pack into your carry-on is a small towel or something to dry your hands. After all, almost all the bathrooms in Japan don't have paper towels or even a hand dryer. So, if you don't want wet hands, pack something to dry them. And lastly, You'll want to pack a few common items that you'd want for any long trip. That includes a phone cord adapter, phone cord, power bank, earbuds, entertainment, sunglasses, pocket dictionary, another power cord, laptop cord, laptop. Don't you dare throw that. Your second empty piece of checked luggage, cell phone, mechanical pencil, notebook, Magikarp, Caterpie, and we're finished! By golly, I think this kid's got it. So, Timothy, now that you've gotten everything packed, how do you feel? So, Timothy, when is your trip? 
You don't know? Well, what does it say on your plane ticket? You do have a plane ticket, don't you? You don't have a plane ticket yet? Haven't you seen Dice Quirk's video on how to plan your trip to Japan in 17 easy-to-follow steps? Or their video giving you 10 tips on how to make your trip amazing? Timothy, you need to head over to Dice Quirk's YouTube channel right now! Then, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get regular updates on Japan-related videos! And make sure you like his videos and comment, that way he can continue to provide you with excellent content! Do you understand, Timothy? Do you understand?! Good. And that is how you pack for your trip to Japan.